On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps uh, to the name uh, Saturday the day when some of the regular ones and ones them out there traverse the church. So whilst uh, doing so, please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate Priors, you definitely see how Jamaica run right now, so you know for sure. So we need that to know more than ever. And to all of the regular ones and ones them out there traversing the streets, whether you're going to the market district, if you go pick up your little market goods, you don't know your little onion, skelly, and thyme, tomato, pepper, to make sure say the soup well bebbled on and decent later, or for just make sure say you have everything needed for the official red rice and roaster day, which is tomorrow. So why else doing so? Why else going about your regular business in the streets? You don't know it's the weekend, so the crime turn up. So safe travel, pan the gravel, and as always, my peeps, continuously look out on a corner of your casua. The old dirty corner boy, them always out there. Alerts, yeah, man, may I tell you? So watch this now, my peeps. We are gonna kick it off with an updated story. Then, of course, we get on into it. So just the other day, on Tuesday, April 10th, I carried a story of this man presently on your screen identified as Dimitri C.J. Wedderburn. He is popularly known in the criminal underworld as Taliban. Said to be a little young Nakis and Clappis, a little upcoming Nakis and Clappis. We used to walk around with Ichipang. So the man them decide to get him out. Some are even saying that he was involved in the fatal knockings and clappings of the man identified as Super Mario. Yeah, man. Now on Tuesday, some man go circle him and knock it and clap it upon him, bilious. But luckily for him, the Almighty Creator him a second chance at life and he's still among the land of the living now two men on the spot news media get for understand say go for him bilious one of them is a long time knackis and clappis known as ropes for the original people that come from around a benbow from back in the days of joe benbow time when he reigned supreme over the Benbo Street gang, would remember who Ropes really is. Ropes did a little stretch behind bars and now he's back on the streets. Now who remember the man where Ropes the clap with over Tarrington Park way back in a day mid to late 2000. So that Ropes there and the spot news media I make reference to and that's why him did end up behind bars for a mighty long time no ropes is back in the streets ropes in so ropes was one of the knackis and clappies we're gonna knock it and clap it pandemitri aka taliban now our next man accompanied ropes and that criminal element has since been identified as John, but them call him John Locksmith. Not because he is a locksmith in the true meaning of the trade, but because him lack guns for the criminal elements in the Benbow Street top jungle 
area. So now you hear a man named Locksmith, you know. You got automatically feel say, brother. The man I can't hear that. Come change my lock for me. Cut a key or whatever the case may be. But little would you know that I him a lock the thing them for the knackis and clappis them. He too is also a knackis and clappis within his own right. So on your screen is the infamous John Locksmith. Yeah man. Now what them two man there go knock it and clap it upon the young and upcoming knackis and clappis CJ aka Taliban. The man them go for him bilious and go beat it pan him in a section of top jungle known as Hopeful Village. And now the criminal element known as John Locksmith is wanted by the Admiral Town Police. Now you have another John, not a locksmith, but also a little common corner boy who sits along Penn Street in the Jonestown community and basically tax the taxi man them. The same thing we we call extortion. So every day, this Janya is always seen along Penn Street. I extort the taxi man them. Stating that he must collect monies for send to the knackis and clappis them who is presently behind bars. He's even taking set and shops in the area. As a matter of fact, any small business that could have even a stall John a tax you a thing for send go down a horizon or whichever jail him had a criminal friend them there and I support them behind bars. Now you John, me I talk to the John will live across from the Seventh Day Adventist Church and Penn Street will live with the woman that John them attack. You need to leave the hard working regular members of Chan Public alone. We don't care if you want to support your criminal friend them in a jail. You need to go look at work and do that and stop tax the ordinary regular members of Chan Public. Listen, this is a warning. And we all know that who no heed to the warning, check the comment section. And you will see what you are going to get if you no heed to the warning. Yeah, man. And still in the Kingston Western Police Division, the Kingston Western Police have listed 11 men and one woman as persons of interest in the police division. Now the woman on that list is only known as Tamika. So anybody know the Tamika that is wanted by the Kingston Western Police? Please make sure you know say yo go turn over yourself to the Denham Town Police forthwith. Now the men on that list, the criminal elements on that list has since been identified as Ronaldo Beswick, otherwise known as Zane in the streets. The next man has since been identified as John Greaves, otherwise known as Booty in the streets. The next man is one of your favorite criminal elements who is originally from the Havana community but now resides over there in Angola. We are talking about none other than Stuart Burton, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Bing. The next criminal element has since been identified as Clive Wims, but more popularly known as Ocho or Terror, which is most definitely no stranger to on the spot news media. And no stranger to the police as this criminal element here has been featured on on the spot news media in several vlogs in the past. The next man identified by the police as the Mario Davis. 
but he is more known in the streets as Chin. The next criminal element who is wanted has since been identified as Romario Barrett, but more popularly known in the streets as Papa. Papa too is most definitely no stranger to one spot news media and no stranger to the police. The other five men have since been identified by their aliases. A man only known as Mark. A man only known as Dwayne. And interestingly, this criminal element here, known as Bob. Bob is one of the main top tier members of the criminal organizations wreaking havoc in the general top jungle area. Now on your screen is a picture of Bob, a way younger picture, but for those who know Bob, is Bob nonetheless. This criminal element here is responsible for many of the recent atrocities that has been taking place in the general Jonestown, Top Jungle, Benbow, Havana communities. The next criminal element only known by his alias is also wanted by the police. He has since been identified as a copper. And last on that list, but most definitely not the least, a criminal element identified by his alias as Bobo. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of all these criminal elements, please alert the Denham Town Police or any police station within the Kingston Western Police Division. So you have Darling Street Police Station, you have Trenchtown Police Station, and you also have the Admiral Town Police Station. And if you not trust none of them police there, link on the Spot News Media or any like-minded vlogger. Give us the information and we will most definitely pass it on to the relevant authorities who can make effective change. Yeah, man. Now, in my most recent vlog, I made mention of a really sick and twisted act that was perpetrated against one of our nation's most vulnerable. I'm talking about a 12-year-old child by this nasty Nisya presently on your screen, identified as Sean. So for those who listened Thursday morning's vlog would have heard me made mention of this nastiness here presently on your screen identified as Sean McNeil. He had the female child who is said to be 12 years old performing the boy's name oral on him on video. Now on the spot news media understands that his daughter was the one who uncovered his nasty and disgusting behavior. His daughter picked up his phone to use his phone to make a call and stumbled upon the disturbing video. So his daughter raised an alarm and alerted her older brother who in turn alerted their mother. When the mother saw what her children's father had partaked in with that innocent, well, not so innocent, 12 years old, but at that age, she has no say so over her body or what she do. She is 12 years of age. So he manipulated the child to make her feel as if she's a grown adult and that he loves her and that they're together and probably used monies to lower the child to his bed. So the mother did what any sensible human being would have done and alerted the authorities. The authorities went to seek after him to see if they could arrest and charge him. He fled 
So on the Spot News Media posted the nastiness for who he really is on Thursday to alert you, the regular members of Chan Public, to help the police to seek and find this nastiness so he can answer to what he had done. Now, he is presently in hiding and sent a voice note trying to play the guilt trip on his daughter who uncovered his dirty and nasty behavior. Now I'm going to play that voice clip for you. He actually had the gall, the nerve to be playing the victim after he committed such a wicked and atrocious act on a 12-year-old child. Listen carefully, my peeps. Listen. Trust me. And all of my life get fucked now. So here I want to shoot me till I want to shoot. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. You, I was, I'm going to make sure I'm video call you. I'm going to show you. I know I sat there. And there's no one say, in case your father put a rope on your neck, and you are alone as it, so you can share it and show it. I don't know anything I do wrong, I can't hate myself. I'm sorry about it. I know what I do wrong, I can't hate myself. But anything I'm like for me to do, I can't hate myself, my baby, I'm sorry. I did love you. I always love you. So I know where the hate is come from, but sometimes we might be have some difficulty in our life. But I this shall not trust me. I don't have no more chance now. So, just know what I say. You do what you do, you do what your people don't want you to do. And your mother don't tell me, say, I put me to go. But I'm not going to prison. So, prepare for funeral. And just know what I say. I'm not kill you. Know. And I say, me I got dead and I don't have you up. I don't have you up. And if me have a chance to blow a spirit on you, I go blow a good spirit on you. I always I go love you until I'm dead. I always I go love you until we meet again. But this is it. No more can come again. No help can defeat me again. It don't know, you know? So I hope you're listening to my peeps. I hope you listen how some of them all dirty man behave. You commit such a disgusting act on a 12-year-old child. And because you were busted, you were exposed for your nasty and dirty behavior. You want to play a victim and try to use reverse psychology on your own child who exposed you for who you are. She did herself justice by doing so and she also did all other females the same justice by exposing you. Now you clearly stated by the time of when you made that recording and Saturday, you will do everyone the great honor of taking your own life. We're glad I you say it still. And I know we, me and are the regular members of Chan Public, you knew within yourself that you don't deserve to be among the land of the living. And I'm pretty sure many regular members of Chan Public would have definitely spent their money, buy you a nice piece of rope and half pound of grease and allow you to do yourself a huge favor. It really sad when these grown men can do these acts and not even admit the fact that he did something wrong. What he's worried about 
is what he could have done to his child for his child to expose him. And what he's worried about is going to prison. He has not once said in that voice note that what he did was wrong and that he is sorry for what he did to that young child. But my peeps, let's wait to see what happens and see if in future blogs, I will be saying that he is no longer among the land of the living or if he's caught, he's presently behind bars. Say so no, my peeps, make we continue. Now over there in the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled, breadbasket parish of Jamaica, we are talking about St. Bess that has narrowed down to be sent worse. A high school girl is among two charged in relation to the seizure of a firearm in Brinkley in St. Elizabeth on Friday. The police stated that the girl and the man were nabbed in a pre-dawn operation, but they have not yet revealed their identities. Now we're going to hear from the commanding officer in charge of the St. Elizabeth Police Division, that's Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, as he reports on the weapon that was found in a toilet tank. Listen. About 4.30 this morning, a targeted operation was conducted in the Brinkley community, which is a neighboring community in the Junction Police area. During the search, one premises was searched, and a 0.44 Smith & Western Magnum was found inside the toilet tank along with one live row. Two persons were arrested, a male and a female, the female being a teenager, student of a prominent high school. Both were taken into custody and will be further processed. It must also be noted that during the operation, we found uh, material that suggests that there's some amount of scamming. And so our detectives will continue this investigation to determine the level of involvement of these persons. Now over there in the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled St. James Police Division, war is in the air between the Sparta YSG gang and another upcoming gang in the top Hart Street community of Mobile, St. James. Now the war there jump off wicked because of the fatal knockings and clappings of this 18 year old present on your screen identified as the Mary Salmon. The Mary Salmon life was cut short by criminal elements in the Hard Street community. Now it is said that the Mary is a carpenter. One of them little youth there where try to live a good and upstanding life and learn a trade and a prime trade and I try to be more proficient at it. It is said that his loss of life is a direct result of a can't catch quack or catch him shut type of thing. So on Thursday, April 11th, Sometime around 7, the Mary was standing in front of his workplace. It is said that a lone criminal element on foot approached him and fired several shots in his body, leaving him lifeless, same place on the spot, and made good his escape in the area. Now, the Mary has a brother that's a old knacky and clappy, so old dirty kind of boy within his own right. It is said that a few days ago, his brother go make a step on the top of the street, man, the man, knock it and clap it off for one man, but he missed. So the can't catch quack or catch him shut thing come into play. And because them can't catch the brother, them go knock it and clap it pan at the young Demir Salman. And he lost his life as a result of that. Now both set of criminal elements are heavily now at odds because his brother is not taking it lightly stating that his younger brother was not involved so if they wanted him they should have came and sought after him 
or go sought after anyone within their gang instead of taking it out on his brother. But sometimes as criminal elements, you know, you don't have to understand say once you put for yourself out there, you don't immediately put an innocent family's life in jeopardy. So you too have to take blame for your actions and you have to go live with that for the rest of your life. Now there has been a hit list that is circulating around. The hit list is presently on your screen. So these men are said to be targeted by Heart Street men. But these men are also said to be known criminal elements who are wreaking havoc in the space. So this ongoing gang war most definitely need the immediate attention of the police and the military before this continue to spiral out of control and more innocent lives are lost. If you can find one another and clap on one another, trust and believe we the regular members of Chan Public is okay with it. Just leave the innocent people alone. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.